everyone and welcome back to the youtube channel i am rudol lavisi here for the first time i need you to smash that subscribe button your subscription is very very important to me okay so in this video we're going to talk about how to use linkedin for job search i've come to realize that most people do not typically go to linkedin to look for jobs they would rather go to the traditional job search engines like indeed like jobman my jobman glassdoor and all of those websites there is a plethora of opportunities there's a whole lot of job opportunities that is on linkedin so you have to know how to navigate or how to look for these jobs on linkedin but today i'm going to show you how to job search on linkedin and how to find hiring managers or recruiters who post these job opportunities it's very important for you to also follow the progress of your application so without further ado open your laptop and go on your linkedin profile after you've opened your linkedin profile right the first thing you see is your home page obviously so you want to come here and click on jobs right so after clicking on jobs you get to see like different things when you look to your left you can see my jobs here you get to see the jobs that you've saved in the past i'm going to show you how to save jobs and how to come back here so if you probably come across a particular job and you're not looking to like apply at the moment when you see it you can just save the job and later you can come to these jobs feature and you will see your saved jobs here so if you come down you see job alerts this job alerts you are the one who has set it so if you are looking for a job for example and you don't necessarily want to go on linkedin every other day to look for this job you can set job alerts if you come down you see interview prep right so let's click on it and see what is there all right so the interview prep are just questions that are commonly asked by organizations when you go for their interview right you can see the first question here is tell me about yourself and the way the answers are structured is they are particular to different roles all right so you can see the first answer is given by career strategies right you can see the second answer is given by by a marketing and brand manager professional the third answer is given by products manager so if you get to read each of these answers these answers are particular to the roles of the people who have answered the question you wouldn't see a generic answer you see the answers are tailored and they are very specific to the roles of the people who are going for the interview so if you also scroll down you see for example let's click on describe your most challenging project now so I've clicked on describe your most challenging project. If you go here, you will see different people across different fields have answered this question. See someone in data engineering, see someone in hardware engineering. As to these interview questions are very particular to the different roles of people who have answered the question. So they're not just broad or generic questions. So if I click on view, you can see the answer. The person has answered what their most challenging project is. So that is one feature that most people do not know is on linkedin so you can just go on linkedin if you are looking to prepare for an interview for example you just go there and you get to see different responses of people across different fields so you can look for the field that you are particularly interested in or look for the answers and just kind of have an idea of how people answer these questions right so if you just keep scrolling you get to see different questions that are typically asked in interviews and you can prepare for these questions so i'm pressing the back button so you can go back to the job page so after the interview prep there's a resume builder right so let's click on resume builder all right so once you select the resume builder you get an option to either create one from your profile or to upload the resume so creating one from your profile means that it linkedin will just automatically take information from your page and build a resume with it so let's click on create from profile so you can see what that looks like this is the resume that linkedin has created for me based on the information that is on my profile right so you can see my name my address my email address my linkedin link my summary my experience my education licenses and certification so what it basically does is it just populates a resume for you from what is on your profile this is only visible to you so you can also click on preview here coming up and this is the cv that linkedin has generated for me from my linkedin profile and you can use this to apply for jobs if you want to if not you saw an option for you to upload the resume so you can also make a custom resume by yourself and use that to apply for jobs so i'm going back to the job page where we came from 
so you can see the option here to upload a resume i've never used the cv generated by linkedin before i always upload my own resume after the resume builder we can see there's a job seeker guidance right so let's click on that and see what we have there this particular page is just a kind of like tutorial on different questions that you may have commonly or frequently asked questions on linkedin so you can see this one is i want to improve my resume i want to improve my linkedin profile checklist of best practices for getting a job so you can just come here and watch these videos and learn stuff on how to use linkedin i mean i feel like linkedin is in the best position to tell you how to use linkedin right so you can just come here to just learn so this is linkedin learning you can just get information on this particular page right so let's navigate to the job page now we've looked at all of the features here you would come to this side and there is something you see you see that there are jobs that have been recommended for you based on your profile based on the keywords that they've selected from your profile so you can see based on my profile there is a job here for human resource specialist so they are suggesting this job to me because of certain keywords indicators that are on my profile that's why they think oh i'm probably interested in hr roles talent acquisition roles and things like that so let's look for how to actually search for jobs on linkedin and how to create job alerts right so if you come here you would click on so if you come here, just click on search. So you can see they've suggested some keywords for me. You can see audit, you can see senior auditor, you can see audit manager. And that's because I'm currently working in audit to make sure that your profile is optimized so that they can suggest accurate information to you. But now we're going to search for sales, right? So I'm clicking on sales. You can see location. Let's pick Lagos, Nigeria and it's loading right so you can see different sales opportunities here and then you get to see different organizations you can see here png they're looking for an intern if you scroll down you get to see details about the organization and about the particular role right clicking on sales you can see there are different filters that you can also use here you can decide to use date posted let's say past week we want something that is recent right so experience level let's click on entry level so company because we want to have a lot of search results i'm not going to select any company here so job type right let's click on the drop down you can see full-time part-time contract temporary let's click on full-time there's an option to select between on-site and remote let's not do that for selecting these filters the search results reduces because it's narrowing down our search to the filter that we've selected right so you can see that different sales roles here there is sales manager at both there's marketing team members to lead reassurance you're looking for a job in sales that is entry level and that is full-time in lagos nigeria on this toggle here and then you set an alert since your email address is already on your linkedin profile linkedin is always going to send you notifications on different job alerts that is based on the filter that you've selected this option as i mentioned was i was going to show you how to find recruiters and hr managers who post this position so you can follow up with them right so what you want to do now since we are on mtn's home page right now i want to look for recruiters and hiring managers who work at mtn so what you want to do is you want to go back to linkedin's home page so i'm clicking here so what you want to do is you want to come to your search bar and type recruiter mtn And you press enter although there are some times that you don't necessarily see recruiter in the title sometimes it's talent acquisition sometimes it's hiring manager with different keywords right so here you see they brought up different people who have the recruiter on their profile so you can see this particular person has recruiter on their headline so chances are this person is one of the people who hires for mtn so these are ways for you to find people who are hiring managers in these different companies so just put the word recruiter or hiring manager or talent acquisition and put the name of the organization then you get to see different people you can code message any of these people and just try to follow up with your application all right so that has brought us to the end of today's video do not forget to like and share the video to anyone you think will find it useful